Hi, and welcome to our fourth show, Thousand Days for Hoppers TV. I'm Marco. And I'm Mackenzie, and we have an action packed show here for you today. Today we'll be featuring a performing arts night, a medieval invasion at Hoppers. After the break, Toby and Annabelle will coverage the performing arts night. Well, the <laughs> tonight we are holding a performing arts night for all of the uh, dance students and the year 11 and 12 music students. It's uh, been an assessment for the vet students and for the most of the year 11 and 12 students, so a uh, pretty intense night. Yeah, how do you think it went? Um, overall, I'd say it went pretty well, you know, I gave my own spin to hosting the evening. I heard about that, I, I was very impressed with all your dad jokes that you were doing. Dad jokes? <laughs> What, what do you mean? Did you have a favourite dad joke? Um, well, I actually did miss a joke in my set. I didn't think the crowd would fully appreciate it, but uh, I will tell it to you lovely folks watching at home or in class or wherever you are. <laughs> so, uh... <clears throat> I fainted in the curry shop when uh, I heard R.E.M. had split up. That's me in the corner. <laughs> It's a line from one of their it songs. It is. That's, That's fantastic. That is a great... Oh, Chelsea, well done. I, I yeah, I know. I've got a gift. Maybe I should just drop out. Oh, um, yeah, exactly. I'm a comedian. Yes, maybe you should. Uh, so what songs did your band play tonight? Um, well, we did most of our set list because music you have to play as part of your assessment goes to a degree and it's intense. But um, I did Hysteria by Muse, Virtual Insanity, Jamiroquai, Crazy Little Thing of Love Queen, uh, Masculinata. Oh, there's Bit lots of everything. Of, there was like eight songs. You guys did very well tonight. I was Thank very you. impressed. And it was a really good turnout as well. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was totally jiggy. <laughs> It was very tricky. Alright, well thank you for that, Chelsea. I hope you had a good night. Recording live on stage. Thomas in our, for our medieval invasion. No. Alright, now, is this going to protect him against threat number one? No. Yeah. Me. Alright, hands up if you think it will. And if it depends, say yes. Yeah. Depends. Yeah. Right. And 
and Anne said if you think it won't. Right. It will, but for a particular re couple of particular reasons. First off, the leather's thick and flexible, but clearly you can cut it out with a sharp knife, otherwise you can't make the armour in the first place. However, when you're cutting leather, you're using a sharp knife against a hard surface, like a board or a table or something like that, and this isn't against a hard surface, it's against a squishy surface. <laughs> Secondly, this isn't a cutting weapon, this is a chopping weapon. There is no slicing action in this, this is where you just whack into things. So if you've got a thick, flexible piece of material with a soft, squishy surface underneath, and you just whack into it, what happens is the leather wraps and grabs around the blade. It's a very inefficient way of trying to cut it. So it does provide protection for those reasons. What about threat number two? Do you think I can stab through this? Yes. 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 And if I was to use blunt force, could I break bones through this? Yes. yes. Probably. Yes. Now you'll also notice I'm holding the sword by the blade, and that was perfectly okay to do. Medieval swords were not that sharp. For one thing, if I was to use this to block his axe, the normal grip is that. So you block the axe head, guide it past and stab him in the face. <laughs> You're not going to do that if you lose your thumb in the process. Also, you seem to be okay with the idea that I can stab through this, but the way this is designed with the blade and the grip straight, means that my wrist has to be bent when I strike. So if I was to just stab like that, it puts a lot of strain on the wrist. That's not how they did it. If you're going to stab someone with a sword like this, two hands, and you lean into it. You just now over to Annabelle and Brittany for the year 12 wrap up. Thanks Marco. Hi everyone. With the 2013 College Captains, I'm Annabelle. And I'm Brittany. Personally, 2013 has been a particularly special year for us in our Year 12 cohort as it's our last year at Hoppers Crossing Secondary College. The roller coaster ride of being in Year 12 isn't quite over yet and we just wanted to remind all students doing a Year 12 exam to study hard throughout the holidays and we wish you the best of luck. We just want to thank our peers and teachers for making the year special and as memorable as it was. And to the rest of you folks, enjoy your weekend. School, School captain's outie! <laughs> A reminder that tomorrow is student free day, stay chilly hoppers crossing. <laughs>